breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Federal government sponsoring fake news against us. Hype up alleges. Federal government sponsoring fake news against us. Hype up alleges. To my very listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. Indigenous people of Biafra hype up. As alleged, the federal government is sponsoring fake news against it. A statement issued by Ima Powerful. IPOP's media and publicity secretary stressed the haste with which federal government celebrated the said fake news. Commanding the United Kingdom, UK. Government for imaginary but non existent prescription only confirmed that the Muhammad Buhari led federal government is behind the fake news. The statement reads, We are hyper movement worldwide, ably led by Mazi Unamdekanu. Our attention has been drawn to the inaccurate and fake news purporting that the UK government has classified IPOP as a terrorist organization. We therefore wish to clarify that there is no iota of truth in the said malicious fake news being peddled by the enemies of Biafra's freedom and independence. Nothing more may be said than the clarification already given to the British High Commission in Abuja to the effect that the said media report is untrue and should be disregarded. The curiosity and childish haste with which the Nigerian government celebrated the said fake news, commending the UK government for the imaginary but non existent prescription, only confirmed that the Muhammad Buhari led federal government is behind the fake news. We are calling on the British government to change their minds about continu continuing to humiliate Biafra. Maybe the federal government easily forget that UK is not Nigeria, where there is no rule of law and due process. Nigeria unilaterally proscribed IPOP and designated IPOP terror organization. While freeing and compensating Fulani bandit, the real mass murderers was hypocrisy. Nigeria's government has been sponsoring insecurity and bandit drill in Biafra land and continues linking it with IPOB in its desperation to demonize the organization and Eastern Security Network. ESN operatives and present us as a terrorist organization that we are not. Nigeria kills its own citizens, like the recent case in Imo State, where an army couple was beheaded after the woman was allegedly raped. This is all in a bid to demonize IPOB and justify the likely military invasion of our land. Federal government should hide its face in shame for sponsoring a failed international propaganda against IPOB. 
They are using hoodlums to sponsor violence in our land to create the impression that our, our leader is leading a criminal organization, but they will keep failing. Hi, Bob. Has been existing long before those criminals trying to blackmail the good work of IPOB in London for a long time. Nigerian media must be objective in their reportage and ensure they investigate the news before feeding the public false information. Recommend the objective media platforms and enjoin orders to emulate them and resist any attempt by federal government to be used as a propaganda tool. IPOB is a peaceful and non-violent movement seeking to free indigenous Nigerians from the bondage Fulani has put every tribe in Nigeria. Indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop has alleged the federal government is sponsoring, is sponsoring fake news against it. A statement issued by Emmanuel Powerful, Hypop's media and publicity secretary, stressed the haste with which federal government celebrated the said fake news, commending the United Kingdom, UK government for imaginary but non-existent prescription only confirmed that the Muhammad Buhari led federal government is behind the fake news. The statement reads, we are IPOP movement worldwide, ably led by Mazi Unamdekanu. Our attention has been drawn to the inaccurate and fake news purporting that the UK government has classified IPOB as a terrorist organization. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.